given the differences between the powers of darkness and the powers of light, it's in everybody's best interest to try and find the light. I think inside everybody who's reduced to tears, one way or another, they they wish they had it come into the light. Usually it's through severe pain and loss that we, myself included, decide that there's got to be a better way. You see, the Bible says that darkness brings an appearance and a sense that it is light. But it's not. And as you enter into it, like with the first time you drink and the first time you take drugs and all the rest of it, it gives you a sense that life's better along that path. It gives you all the feelings and senses that life is better along this path. <clears throat> but then all of a sudden, like a bad electrical connection or something like that, things start to get blurry and things start to not add up. So we can put on the appearance that we believe we're on the right track and things are going to be okay and all the rest of it. This is the way to go. You get a temporary shot of light. Let's go, please. And it dissolves into dimness and darkness. So a temporary solution can't hold. It doesn't hold. and you end up in the dark. And like this dog, it's not listening to what it's told. Now, what's it up to? Let's see. I'll put the camera on the dog. What's it up to? It's doing something wrong. And I'm gonna fix it. He likes to eat dead birds. Sit. Sit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Come on, mate. And um, that's what the darkness does. It appears as light. It makes you feel like it's light, it's doing you good. It's easy to acquire the things, the drugs and things at first, because it's a little outlay for a, um, for a high temporary reward, minimal reward. But then you need more more of it to make it work. But the more you need, the darker it gets. You see, it all leads to darkness. The more you need, don't, don't, good boy, the darker it gets. The more expensive it gets. The more damage that it does. The more trouble that it causes the more heartache that it brings, the more losses that you suffer, the more sickness that you have, the more accidents that you have. And it's all because this person, for whatever reason, there's a hundred million thousand reasons, and none of them are good, and none of them are fortunate, but, When you move away from your self-reward system that God's given us, it releases dopamine. You might like crocheting, so when you crochet, you get your trickle of self-reward, a little bit of dopamine. 
without having to add anything to your system. Because when you add drugs, alcohol and these other things to your system, you're taking away your connection with yourself. Okay? I'm not saying talking, I'm not talking about doctor prescribed stuff, but let's not go there. I'm talking about the abuse, use and abuse of alcohol, marijuana and other social illegal substances that bring about a temporary heightened sense of self-awareness. It doesn't work. Every single person I've known that has gone down this road, and I've known hundreds of them, from bikies to surfers to you name it, not one of them has stayed on the path of life that they were supposed to. Not one. It's taken away the direction that they were supposed to go in. It's always ended up in sickness, sadness, separation, illness, accidents, loss of relationships, family, friends, intimate relationships, finances down the drain, enmeshment and trouble with children, narcissism and sinfulness throughout the family becomes generational. And it's all full of regret and remorse and sadness, all of it. And there's no return for the investment. That's all I'm trying to say. There's a better way. We have a re reward system. And as you move back out of the darkness and into the light, which is just being normal, <laughs> which seems to be hard these days for a lot of people, Come on, as you move out of the darkness by coming off these substances, you'll find, this is what you'll find. Number one, you'll find a sense of satisfaction. You'll feel as though you're starting to do something positive for yourself. Now, but with this will come outside influences the demonic realm will send outside influences to try and hem you in and make you feel guilty about making the right decisions for yourself to move away from the darkness and into the light so number one you'll get a sense of self-satisfaction but that will come with a counter-attack there'll be strategies that the darkness familiar spirits know that are your weaknesses that they'll try and use to bring you into your old habits. Number two, you will start to realize that you have a inbuilt reward system that God's given you and that will help you to come away from the need for outside chemicals as you realize that you can naturally sleep that your natural chemical dopamine reward system given to you by God does work. You'll come out of, come on mate, your need for other things. Now remember the counter, counter attack doesn't decrease. Even after you completely come out of the darkness into the light, the counter attacks do not decrease. So it's a journey, it's a long journey, one step forward, two steps back, and you'll be completely under attack. You'll get attacked by your sinful nature. You'll be attacked by tormenting spirits, accusing spirits that'll make you feel shame and guilt. But you've got to hang on to your small victories, to the less and less of the darkness and the more and more of the light, and you'll find and you'll sense peace, love, joy, happiness, serenity, and a clear conscience of mo which most of all is the most important thing that you could aim for.